Carpal tunnel syndrome. Carpal tunnel syndrome is a common condition that affects the hands and wrists. It occurs when the median nerve, which runs from the forearm into the hand, is compressed or pinched at the wrist. What causes carpal tunnel syndrome? Repetitive motion. Carpal tunnel syndrome often affects those who perform repetitive motions with their hands and wrists. Diabetes. People with diabetes are at a higher risk of developing carpal tunnel syndrome due to nerve damage. Pregnancy. Pregnant women can experience carpal tunnel syndrome due to hormonal changes and fluid retention. Thyroid dysfunction. Hypo. Thyroidism and other thyroid disorders can contribute to the development of carpal tunnel syndrome. Signs and symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome. Numbness and tingling. Many people with carpal tunnel syndrome experience numbness and tingling in the hand and fingers. Weakened grip. Carpal tunnel syndrome can cause a weakened grip and difficulty holding objects. Pain and discomfort. People with carpal tunnel syndrome may experience pain and discomfort in the wrist and hand. How carpal tunnel syndrome is diagnosed. Physical exam. Your doctor will examine your hands, wrists, and arms to check for signs of carpal tunnel syndrome. Electrophysiological testing. Your doctor may use nerve conduction tests to measure the electrical activity in your nerves. Imaging tests. An X-ray or MRI may be ordered to help rule out other conditions that may be causing your symptoms. Treatment options for carpal tunnel syndrome. Wrist splinting. Wearing a wrist splint at night can help keep your wrist from bending while you sleep. Medication. Nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, can help reduce pain and inflammation. Surgery. In severe cases, surgery may be necessary to relieve pressure on the median nerve. Preventative measures for carpal tunnel syndrome. Ergonomic equipment. Using ergonomic equipment, like keyboards and mouse pads, can help reduce your risk of developing carpal tunnel syndrome. Stretching exercises. Performing stretching exercises for your hands, wrists, and forearms can help improve flexibility and reduce the risk of injury. Healthy lifestyle. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle by eating a balanced diet and exercising regularly can help reduce your risk of developing carpal tunnel syndrome. The importance of early intervention. Reduced pain. Early diagnosis and treatment can result in reduced pain and better outcomes. Improved function. Addressing carpal tunnel syndrome early can help improve function and prevent long-term damage. Lower health care costs. Early intervention can lower health care costs and prevent the need for more invasive treatments down the road. Conclusion. Carpal tunnel syndrome is a common condition that can be prevented with proper precautions. If you are experiencing symptoms, seek early intervention to ensure the best possible outcome. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.